in this video, we're going to give you one more secret retailer of the PS5 and Xbox Series X on launch day. Walmart makes it official about their launch day sales, and Sony Direct warns PlayStation 5 buyers that they may not get their consoles on launch day. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel where we give you the secrets to get the console that you want. So we're gonna go through the top 100 retailers at the end of the video, uh, although we're only gonna do the ones A through C, and we're gonna show you one particular top-notch retailer that you've never heard of that has Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 bundles. Stay tuned all the way to the end so you don't miss out on these secret places where you can secure a PS5. And the idea here is really that if you are hitting websites that other people aren't hitting, that they're not thinking about, that they're outside the Best Buys, the Targets, the Walmarts of the world, that you're going to snag the console and the people that go to the place that everybody else does will not. This five pre-order sale today, EB Games Canada. Boy, this was up quick and it, it went gone quick. All right. And we saw these pictures of a PlayStation at, uh, it seems like at a store somewhere via Reddit. Thanks to Cheeto Gaming YT for telling us about it. Oh, this is interesting. Fred Meyer, sales associate, told me today she had heard the PS5 release was likely pushed back a few weeks. So. Fred Meyer's a grocery store chain um, that sells consoles, similar to Meyer. So we want to go back. Uh, so one of the things going on, of course, is England has its lockdown, and it's uncertain how that's going to affect the launch. But if you're in England, you probably want to get your stuff shipped. Uh, due to the lockdown. We got more confirmation from another source. Uh, this Chris M via my comment section on Target uh, says that their Target store has 30 PS5s and 20 Series Xs. You want to avoid the, uh, if you did the plate station stuff, then you're probably going to lose those. And Sam's Club has a display for the PlayStation now. They, of course, sold some pre-orders, but they're they're kind of they're probably not going to have launch day stock. A lot of people are getting these messages uh, from Sony to say that they their consoles people that got in email invites from Sony, right? So you you can't do this now, but before you could put in uh, your PSN ID. Right, they used to log into your PlayStation and they selected select people. It seemed pretty random who they selected. It didn't seem to be correlated with how many years you've owned a Sony or played or how many trophies you have. It was just um, kind of this. Uh, this U uh, City claimed that he got a, a, a Best Buy button today, but nobody was able to verify that. Uh, and then got this view of Game UK where the Xboxes are in the back storeroom. And then the whole Meyer situation. So Meyer Grocery Stores is a regional chain of grocery stores in the Midwest. Uh, they're definitely in Illinois, Ohio, and Michigan, but maybe other places too. Uh, and so Jedi Master... Risner says, for Meyer stores, the plan is that 1110 will have the Xboxes in stock and it'll be first come, first serve starting at 6 a.m. So uh, due to what's happening in the world, they used to be 24 hours, but now they're cleaning the stores. And so they don't open until 6 a.m. now. Uh, so that's when they open. So no midnight release, but still that's pretty early on the launch day. And PS5, apparently we won't have them before the 12th, but we'll have them on a later date. Okay, um, 
So ABT, right, that's, they've got a PS5 and a Xbox Series X bundle. I'm going to show you that in a little bit. Uh, you, if you have a, uh, if you want to play at 120 hertz, up to 120 hertz in 4K for the PS5, you're going to need a, a 2.1 cable. That doesn't come in the box, but it does come in the Xbox box. Um, and the, the Jedi Master Risner is also commenting on the Meyer situation. I work for Meyer in Ohio. We have the same sign, sadly. This is legit, and the company is so terrible they think this sign is professional. Let's see if we can uh, get to the sign. So the sign says uh, PS5 release date is not available on 11 12 due to nationwide delay. This is so weird the way they wrote that. The release date is not available. I think what they want to say is the console is not available on the release date due to a nationwide delay. But that's not what they wrote. And then release date will be uh, announced at a later time. Quantities limited. Sales start at 6 a.m. Tickets will be distributed on a first come first basis. One ticket per customer. No pre-orders available. And this was in a Myers in Illinois. Thanks to uh, Sir Vare, Mark Coleman, who uh, who sent this to me by Twitter. Um, yeah. Because they didn't proofread the signs before they sent them out, so they add kinds of grammar mistakes in, so we had to try to fix them ourselves. The Xbox sign they gave us didn't even have the right release date on it. <laughs> Correct. It's just poorly worded, lol. Uh, and it came from corporate. And not officially. Uh, so someone asked uh, Jedi Master Risner D Rise 92. Uh, not officially. Meyer won't have them on launch day. Is what we're telling us at least, right? So the 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 PS5s are delayed, but the X for Meyer. Um, Uh, same as it was for Xbox, which is first come, first serve, and it'll start at 6 a.m. when we open. So it looks like they're going to hand out tickets, which is nice to, to avoid people like running at the consoles or whatever. But once you come in, say so you want to line up there at the door uh, for the November 10th release date for Xbox, and we don't know what they're going to do, when their actual release day will be for the uh, PS5. Yeah, and I think it's just worthwhile, this guy talks about his experience, is that on the release day, if you really want to get an Xbox Series X and S, it's probably better not to do the all access because that has a credit check process. And while you're getting the credit check, it's going to be stolen from your cart. Most of these retailers don't preserve your cart and don't give you time to get this. Okay, and this is the best buy ad that we referred to that, that says 11.2 uh, online only orders, 11.22 that is. So November 22nd, which is after the launch day for both the X the Series X and the PS5. We also have this uh, Walmart toy catalog Right, and the Walmart toy catalog, it has um, this pages 44 and 45, PS5 and Xbox Series X will be available on launch day, right? So if we look at the toy catalog and we zoom in, right, it says available. And this toy catalog dropped last week, October 24th, and it's good through December 14th, right? And it shows the disc version available. Oh, they also show the digital too. So disc and digital and then all the accessories. And it's supposed to be good through um, 
October 24th through December 14th, 2020. So maybe, you know, this is an indication that my, or sorry, Walmart is going to have these things on their launch days. They do say available on launch day, right? So unlike the Best Buy uh, flyer, which said available on their quote Black Friday day, even though it's not the traditional Black Friday, Walmart says available on launch day. And so that's kind of the only official confirmation we have from the U.S. Walmart about this. All right, so uh, I found this retailer, ABT Electronics. I think they're Chicago-based. I think they only ship. I don't think they have stores. They've been open since 1936. We'll check if they're, quote, legit in a second. But first, let's look at their what they have. So I know they have the the PS5, but let's see if they have the X2. Yeah, here we go, Xbox Series X. Don't, oh, there it is, Microsoft Xbox Series X coming soon. It looks like it is a controller bundle, right? Uh, game console with a white controller. Right, so an extra controller. And they also have a similar controller bundle for the PS5. So PS5. Maybe I have to write out PlayStation. There we go. And you can sign up for email alerts from them. You know, hopefully you're going to get a Twitter notification for me or Wario or PS5 sales before that, but that's something, you know, it's possible a place like ABT will come up online, and since nobody's looking for it, they're all looking at the Walmarts and the Targets of the world, uh, that you'll have more time with these guys um, if nobody, you know, drops a link on Twitter. So 569, so... You get two control. It's the disc version, two controllers. So you get the second controller, which retails at about seventy dollars minus a penny. All right, see if we can find another one uh, beyond AB, ABT Adorama camera. I've already pointed that out in a previous video. Yes, they are going to sell the PS5, but we don't know when. Oh, I guess you you want to know if uh, are these legit? Uh, ABT Electronics, legit. Okay, there's the Google. Uh, it's got a Better Business Bureau profile, ConsumerAffairs.com. It's got a 4.1 rating there. Trustpilot 4.6 rating, very good out of five. Uh, and it's got a Better Business Bureau rating of 4.6 A plus rating. Okay, so we're going to go through this list of uh, the top retailers. This is like, a, I guess, a blog, somebody's blog. But a lot of these are still uh, in business and still going strong. Uh, the first one that I found that was good was ABT Electronics and Appliances, right? And they have bundles for the Xbox Series X and S. And they have, um, or for the Series X, I don't know about the S, uh, but they also have the a bundle for the PlayStation 5, the Sony PlayStation 5. Both the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 bundles are at ABT Electronics and Appliances are with one controller. So you pay for an extra controller. Adorama, we've also featured them in an earlier video, and they do seem like they are going to have, uh, I think, the PlayStation 5. I've not verified if they've had, uh, they're going to have the PS, uh, the Xbox Series X. And then these other ones, uh, Amazon, of course, is going to, has put up both those consoles up, and probably will in the future. And then... I don't think Army Army Air Force Exchange has put up both the consoles, but you have to be a veteran or current 
or current duty or reservist, I believe. And then I think that's all for the A's. B&H Photo has a uh, single consoles and a bundle for the PlayStation 5. I don't think they have the Xbox Series X. I could be wrong. Uh, but um, they are one to monitor. We don't know. For all these, we don't know when they're going to go live. Are they going to pre-sell? Are they going to sell on the day? Beach Trading Company, I think we found that they did sell uh, the Xbox One. So they might sell the Xbox Series X. They might even carry the PS5. And then Best Buy, of course. We know that Best Buy is going to sell the the Xbox, uh, they're going to sell the Xbox Series X and S and the PlayStation 5 on November 22nd, according to their, their Black Friday ad. But we also believe that it's possible they could sell those at any time. Uh, it's not clear if they'll allow in-store sales or not. BJ's Wholesale Club is a club similar to Sam's and Costco, which Sam's and Costco both have, have sold uh, PlayStation 5s, and I believe, uh, or they're planning on selling. Costco is planning on selling them, and then uh, Sam's has sold them. And I, the Costco has also sold the Xbox Series X. But BJ's is a, kind of a competitor to those two places. I think we did see that they had the Xbox One, but we didn't see that they had a, a, on their website anything for the next generation consoles. But they might do it since they carried them in the past. Uh, and then a lot of these other B retailers didn't see anything that was very promising. Cabela's was not one. Car toys, CDW, no. A lot of these just carry just computers, but not consoles. And Costco, of course, is, is a major lead. We think they may sell as early as the third, but maybe they'll only sell on the day. They might let camping. They may not. I don't know. We're still trying to nail all down those those details. We didn't see anything at Cowboy Maloney's, and we stopped at the D's. So I think you, you should go through this list. I'll, I'll put a, a link to this list. Uh, this blog in the description and you can uh, you can check them out yourself